Cole was born with a heart condition and he was diagnosed with cerebral palsy when he was about two years old and then when he was about four he was diagnosed with epilepsy and a genetic disorder that is undiscovered yet, doesn't have a name. Never knowing if a seizure is going to occur. They are very unpredictable and they're unlike many. He doesn't convulse, he just goes basically unresponsive, but he, um, they're focal seizures, so he knows everything that's going on during them. He can hear us, he can see us, but he can't move his limbs or his head or his eyes at all. This summer we've had four, four three massive ones, one lasting over six hours. Um, but the longer he's in the seizure, the more damage it can cause to the brain. Um, the last, the one that lasted over six hours, they ended up giving him so much medication to pull him out of the seizure, they had to intubate him. They said that he most likely has them and has always had them in his sleep and we've never known it. Um, but they seem to be happen at any time. Any time. I think it'll help him in the aspect of just feeling comforted during the time of the seizure and it'll definitely help us in just feeling a little bit of relaxing that we don't have to check on him every couple minutes and physically look at him and get his attention every couple seconds that they can, the seizure dog can help us and let us know if he is having a seizure. And then also it'll, it'll help him, he is wheelchair bound to where it can help him gain some independence. Why would, why would a dog help you? With doggy farts? <laughs> They're gonna help you with that? <laughs> get your attention at night while you're sleeping. <laughs> right now I get up probably at least every couple hours just on my own to check on him and make sure he doesn't seem, I, would, I guess I wouldn't even know if he was having a seizure, but just to make sure my peace of mind and I think it'll help a lot with that, the dog will be able I feel comfortable that the dog could let us know if he was having a seizure in the middle of the night, it, as well as at any time of the day. Yeah. Well, he'd be afraid of bigger dogs, and he has lost that completely, pretty much. He still gets startled, but at the same time, Cole loves to be startled. He thinks it's the funniest thing in the world. He'll jump, and then he'll laugh his head off. And just, he just has gained that sense of accomplishment holding the leash when you guys come with the dog he loves to do that or like when we go to the mall he loves to play ball and it's actually helped him in learning to let the ball go and the dog is so amazing to just sit and wait patiently for up to five to seven minutes just waiting for cole to be able to let the call the dog <clears throat> the ball go take my socks off <laughs> <laughs> What else? What else? <laughs> what else is he gonna help? Me? What is he uh, gonna do? Uh, huh? salsa and so is my mom so and we're selling salsa quart size jars are $15 pints are 10 and half pints are 5 and any type of donation 
any type of donation would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> So we are selling candy bars, your regular size candy bars, for a dollar a piece. Um, we have Snickers, Milky Way, M and M's, Skittles, M &M, Skittles Peanut M and M's, Three Musketeers, and Twix. So please just keep checking our website to see if any new and upcoming fundraisers that we might be doing and if you have any other type of ideas for fundraisers please feel free to email me the ideas it'd be greatly appreciated please Mary, thank you for helping call call you said call can you blow kisses?